Hello, fleas are such a problem on pets and in the house as well. And they can really lead to miserable owners and miserable pets. So by the end of this video, I'm going to tell you my top tips for getting rid of fleas, keeping your pet healthy, and also keeping the house free of the pesky little blighters. For the best veterinary tips, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell um, so that you get notifications as they come through. Hello, I'm Anthony Chadwick from the Webinar Vet. But prior to setting up the Webinar Vet, I, I worked for many years as a veterinary dermatologist. I uh, have spent over 20 years doing dermatology in first opinion and in referral practice. So I've got loads of tips that I want to share with you that will help you in controlling creepy crawlies in the house. So first of all, how do we confirm we've got fleas? If you have a, a flea comb, that's a really useful tool to actually comb the dog or the cat. And then when you get all of that hair, put it onto a white piece of paper. And sometimes just by doing that, you will see fleas. Um, or you may see lots of black dots, which if you wet, actually you can see our blood. And that's the digested blood from the fleas. Of course, sometimes you may not see fleas at all, but if you're really suspicious of it, it's important to treat anyway. But a flea comb can be really useful. Of course, the other thing, you may see them biting your ankles. Uh, then you know you've got a real problem because they're pretty uh, well established in the house environment as well. So if you've seen fleas or you're suspicious of fleas, what's the next step? There are, of course, many treatments that you can use to treat fleas, some of which work better than others. In my time in practice, I used to have clients who would tell me that garlic worked well. Well, it just doesn't. So you've got to look at, at products that will be effective. And there certainly are some products that are effective that you can buy in pet shops like Fipronil. However, the problem with some of these it is that they're older products now and they're not nearly as effective as some of the products that you can get from a vet. So I would always advise going to the vets to get the relevant treatment and that takes up two elements. One is the treatment for the pet and one the treatment for the environment, particularly if we think there is a big problem. There are now many types of treatments. You can use some really good collars, you can use spot-ons, which usually go on the back of the dog or the cat's neck. And more and more now, we're seeing some really effective products that you actually take, give to the dog or the cat orally. And they work in different ways. Some obviously um, kill the fleas, but some actually just sterilize the fleas as well and stop them breeding. So it's important for us to know which uh, way we want to um, actually treat the animal and the environment. Of course, when you see one flea on the cat or the dog, the likelihood is that there are many more fleas within the house. So it's really important that we only we don't only treat the animal, but particularly if we feel there's an infestation, that we treat the house as well. First stage of that is to give a very good hoovering of the house, hoover around the skirting boards, obviously the soft furnishings, the nooks and crannies of your sofas and your chairs. The reason we do that is that if a, a lot of insecticides that we would use in the house, the pupa, the pupal stage of the flea is resistant to all of those. However, if we have lots of vibration going on, the pupa will actually see that as a sign that there's a human or there's an animal close and will emerge from the pupa as an adult flea. So if we do that and then follow up with a spray, something like a permethrin spray, that will actually kill um, the, the fleas immediately, has a very fast knockdown effect, then that will work really well. But then any of the other stages, if it escapes that, the piperonal butoxide will help with the, the, the knockdown, but then the pyroproxifen will actually help to stop fleas developing further from larvae 
into adult fleas. So get a spray that has that dual effect of killing the flea, but also affecting the actual reproductive status as well. Follow that up with a good spraying after the hoovering. Make sure that you get out of the house, leave all the windows closed, and then when you get in, open the windows and doors, let the, the house air for a bit, and then it's safe to bring the dogs and the cats back. So do comment below, let me know if you've enjoyed the video and what treatment you're using that you find to be really effective. And if you have any issues or problems, leave a comment and I'll, I'll try and answer that for you. Are you a part of the veterinary profession? If you are, you may want to continue your learning by following us to the webinarvet.com, which is the largest online provider of veterinary CPD with well over uh, one and a half thousand hours of CPD and over 70,000 subscribers. So please do go over there. If you're a student, you may want to also take a look at Wikivet, the online veterinary encyclopedia. And of course, the links are below if you want to look at either of those resources. Take care. Bye bye. So please check out our other videos like the top 10 tips for dermatology. And if you've liked this video, please do like it and share it with friends. And of course, press the subscribe button as well. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on another video very soon.